Cheers. I just got home and it's a joy to come home after the housekeeper's been here. I can keep things pretty much together, but everybody needs a little help. You need to eat. Come on, get your food. Stories. Anyway, stories. Everybody, everybody has a story and everything has a story, right? So I'm drinking my afternoon espresso. Now that everything's very put together, I was just looking around and noticing this plate. And then I thought about the story behind everything. And I thought, well, I need to make a video. So why don't I tell stories? This right here is a young baby Mr. Ruko. It's a good, hey, let me see you. Let me see that face. Ah, oh, it's a good boy. Let me see that face. Oh, that's a good boy. You want to go inside? We'll have a cookie? All right, go. Are you ready? Here, this is for Google. Okay, here, 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 here. Okay, that's for Google. All right, it's a good boy. You know what? I can take my nose and I put it in Ruko's ear like this. Mm, and Ruko has a, a smell. All right, it's a good smell. Mm. And you know you can't bankroll smells. There's no way that you can try to remember that. Hmm. But here's the story. I'm making a video. Recently, I've been reviewing old videos, and sometimes I talk to the camera. And even though I didn't know at the time who was I talking to, now I realize I'm talking to me much in the future. And sometimes you can forget things. But I want me to know that today, February 5th, 2012, that I know that things aren't forever, right? And... There's not a moment that goes by that I don't love on this baby right here. That I don't love on this little dog. And he knows it too. I tell him all the time, Ruko, do you know I love you? I love you. I love you, Ruko. Are you giving that little kisses? Sometimes he does. <laughs> he does. But Ruko's just turning into a little gray old man. And I get it. I get it. But I don't want to get confused of when time goes by and what I did or didn't do. I didn't miss a moment to love on this dog. Mr. Ruko, my mother gave me this. She got it for me. At the time, I probably thought it was a little cheesy blade. But now, this means a lot to me. It's a, it's a doggy that's long gone and my mother that's long gone. But are they? Because it's oh so comfy. And if things like this make you feel that good and warm with memories, and it makes you comfy, then they live. They live. You found a very sunny spot, huh? You found a very sunny spot. And then there's this. There's Mr. Ruko. Hey, Mr. Ruko. Without making this a Greece-centric video, let's begin with this right here. So this right here is sunrise off of Kamari. Um, I always forget, last time I was there, I always forget where the sun rises. Sometimes I think it rises over here, and the fact is it rises over here, and that is a landmass. There's an island right there. I always forget. I won't forget next time. Oh, and there will be a next time. But anyway, this is the village of Kamari down here, and you wind up this road early in the morning to get to a sunrise. Good morning, Kamari. Look at this. I'm all set up. The drone is here. The vehicle's here. I'm here. You're there. Let's go to the top of the mountain. Just spectacular. Beautiful. Okay, you want to go up here? Here's some prints. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is all from a 20. This is all from 2014, I believe. Swimming in Kamari, I believe. And hold on. If you look close, 
my crucifix is hanging. Never stop doing what makes you happy. I am unapologetically happy when I talk about this. Thing. I like this one. This kind of saddened me. I'll tell you why. Um, the very first year I stayed on Kamari Beach, I was in the little house with the blue door. I've been moving around four different places for a couple weeks. And when I finally got here, I got to wash my clothes. And this little corner, in between the house and the property next door. They had the suspended clothesline. And what was great is the clothespins were just multicolored. Although not a big deal to them. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I really liked that. You know what was disappointing about this? Uh, a couple years later, I went back. And I mean, I absolutely went to the side of the house and looked at the clothesline and they weren't multicolored anymore. No. Okay. This here? This is the island of Mykonos. Mykonos! Right? You know what's so great about this? It's not my favorite place. I will probably never return here again. I know. For some people, it's a dream come true. Um, for me, common, basic. <laughs> so, ah, but um, one of the first places that I went to, one of the second places I returned to, and what a sunset all the time. Uh, see all the people up here? I made a point to crawl down that hill, right? Do, 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 do. And then perch right there somewhere on the rock with my feet hanging over and enjoy this sunset all to myself. That's your game, huh? Never gets old. <laughs> Never gets old. One time. This is it. No more. Ah. So this photo is making those? This is in the back of a, um, a flatbed vegetable truck. Flatbed vegetable truck. So that's who I was in making those with. That's a story in itself. It's funny. Here, well, let me stretch my picture. You can't do that. That doggy's name is Victor. We probably had proper transportation that would have taken us from the port to the hotel. But this guy asked us, where are you going? And he said he'd take us in the back of the vegetable truck. All right, so I could take the hotel shuttle or we could ride in the back of the truck with Victor. What would you do? 